we are talking about Jesus coming, praying, come Lord Jesus, into all of our situations in our lives. But when we pray, come Lord Jesus, and we envision Jesus coming into these different things, what can we expect? I think that we can we can basically calibrate our expectations to the Jesus that is revealed in the Gospels, that when he comes in the Gospels, he does things that no one expects. And I, I, I recall that the text that says that you, your king comes to you at the triumphal entry. Your king comes to you riding on a donkey, riding on a colt. And the, the people of Israel are expecting the king to come in riding on a stallion, riding in victoriously. And Jesus comes humbly. Jesus comes humbly to address the heart. Jesus is coming into the situations that we invite him to come into, and he's addressing the heart things. That's what his mission was in the whole world is you can fix things on the outside for people, but that won't fix the people. But we invite Jesus to come in, and he starts the slow, long game of inner transformation. He starts the slow slow, long game of, of not just teaching you things, but molding and shaping you into the best version of you, the one that's in his mind, not the one that's in everybody else's mind or yours, but in the one that's in his mind. He, When we invite him, come Lord Jesus, we're inviting him to come and change things at the heart level, especially. That doesn't mean that we don't invite him into things and, you know, the situations and invite and, and invite him to come and change that situation, we can. But oftentimes the Lord will work with us and he will come into our lives. He'll come into our relationships. He'll come into our families. And when he does, he comes and works his change in the heart, at the heart level. I mean, think about it. Jesus could have come and changed everything on, you know, in the world order. He could have cha- come and changed the world governments. He could have changed, you know, everybody in the heart just in a, in a, snap of a finger, but he didn't. What he did was he came, he he gave his life for us to start the revolution on the inside. And so we pray, come Lord Jesus, and we expect him to be Jesus as he comes into us this day and every day after this.